In the last episode we learned how to create a movie. So in this episode I thought it would be cool if we learned how to delete a movie. So right now our application looks like this. So we have this list of movies. We can create a new movie. We can edit the title. I'll just do something like this right here and just paste this text in and add a new movie. Wait a few seconds and we have added a new movie. If we go back right now we will see that the new movie is added and if we refresh our API site so with the Drupal we can see the movie here. So what we want to do in this episode is delete a movie and as you will see it's pretty much the same process as with creating a movie uh, it's just that you're deleting it and uh, you're accessing a different endpoint so you have to access a node that you want to delete and that's it I'm going to go a little bit faster in this episode because all of the things that we are going to be doing uh, in this episode we already done a few times already so I'm not going to explain every single detail of what I'm doing okay so let's get started so what I want to do uh, is actually have a delete button right here and when I click on that delete button I should go to a new component this is because I don't want when I click this delete button right here to that for that movie to be automatically deleted. So we were going to go to a component and on that component we, we could have some text like are you sure you want to delete the movie or so, and so on and then we have another delete button and when we click on it uh, it will delete that movie. So to do that first of all of course we are going to create our new component template and give it ID of delete movie and then we are just going to uh, add an h2 tag in it and say delete movie so this is our title then we are going to add a p tag in it and say something like are you sure okay and we ha can have a button right here so I'm just going to do button and then I'm going to add a class to it of btn and bt btn danger so that we get a red button and I'm just going to say delete right here we are still going to have to add some uh, Vue.js specific attributes right here but for now this is it okay so we have our template set up next we are going to uh, create our component right here and like many times before we are just going to create a new component so I'm just going to do var delete movie equals view extent view extent open up these braces and let's see what we are going to be needing right here so first of all we of course have to define a template template and that's going to be delete movie okay I'm not going to define any data for this but what we are definitely going to be needing is uh, headers for our delete request and we already have those headers from the last example so not in the movie list but in where is it oh it's actually at the top so at here in create movies we have this HTTP headers that we use for our view resource plugin we just paste those in so we are going to use the same ones as we did here so we have to accept some data uh, co define content type and uh, have of course authorization for it and then I'm just going to add a method right here so we're going to do methods and we're going to call our method delete the movie okay and it's going to be a function 
and now what we need to do right here so with getting the list of the movies and with creating a new movie and with uh, viewing a single movie we always used this right here so <coughs> view resource plugin for uh, making requests to our API so we can just copy this out and paste it right here so we're going to be using this and we have of course this HTTP for delete we are not going to have post because we are not posting anything we are want to delete a node so we're just going to do delete okay and now for our URL we are not going to be accessing entity node but we have to uh, access node uh, ID so we are going to do node node and then we are going to pass it an ID and that ID is going to come from our index.html file just like we did when we wanted to view a single movie so through the HTTP parameters I'm just going to delete all of this as we don't need it and that's it for this uh, component right now next thing we need to do we need to define our routes so I'm just going to go down here create a new a named route for deleting because we have to have an ID of a movie that we want to delete so our route is going to be delete delete and the movie ID so which movie do we want to delete the name of the route is going to be delete and the component is going to be delete movie okay so that should be it now we can go to our index.html file and create our delete button so I'm going to go to this movie list right here and I'm actually going to copy out this right here so this is the link uh, to our movie when we wanna view a single movie so I'm just going to copy this I'm going to change this class from call MD10 to be something like call MD8 and then at the end here I'm going to add another div and it's going to be call MD3 and then I'm going to paste this in uh, I'm just going to write in this H A tag just write delete or delete movie okay and now we have this v-link uh, which accepts some parameters and that parameter is of course this movie ID that we are getting from our API so we already talked about this in the episode when we want to view a single movie and the name of the route is not going to be a movie but it's going to be delete and the name of the parameter is going to be movie ID same as for the link to view a single movie so if we save this go to our page refresh it we can see delete movie right here so I'm just going to add some classes right here so class equals BTN and BTN danger so that we have a nice red button right here okay so we have delete movie that is great next thing we are going to go to our application and pass it this parameter so if we go to our movies API and go to API movies we can see that for instance this movie right here so this movie right here has an ID of 38 so this is a node ID so we are going to access that node ID add it to our uh, URL and then we are going to delete that movie but let's first see what our application does now so if we go right here and click on delete movie we go to delete 38 so if 
we go back, click this movie, delete 37. So this is the node ID. Uh, and we have this delete movie that we are getting from our template. Are you sure? And we have delete button, which for now doesn't do anything. So if I click on it, I will get nothing because it doesn't work. So I'm just going to go to our app.js file, go to our delete movie component, and we have to pass a parameter of this node ID. So we are accessing movies api.dev, so this is going to probably be different for you. And then node, and now we have to have something like 38 right here to delete that movie. So to do that, we are going to access uh, the parameters that we are getting from our routes and to access that you just do this dot route dot params and our param name is movie id so that should be it save this and one more thing we need to do actually is we have to go to our index.html file and on some way say to this button okay so when this button is clicked trigger this method so to do that we're just going to go to our index.html and we're going to do v on click equals and the name of the method so our method is called delete the movie and that should be it uh, if we go to our application right now so I'm just going to go back refresh it and we have this movie right here click delete movie and now we click delete okay wait a little bit uh, go back and as you can see right now we don't have the movie that we deleted if we go back right here uh, so this is this was the movie that we deleted but since the cache is running uh, it, it it's not deleted yet but if we refresh the page you will see it's gone okay so this of course doesn't work very well what I actually wanted to do is when we delete the movie so we, when we go here and delete the movie I want uh, to automatically go back to our movie list. So to do that, we would just do something like we we'll go to our app.js file, and then right here we do function, function, and on response we do something like this. That route. That route router dot go so go to the router and go to this path so we define a path right here and our movie list is on our root path and that should be it if we save this right now go to our application I'm just going to go back right here refresh this and we go delete movie we click delete and we are automatically returned to the list of our movies and the movie that, uh, that we deleted is gone so we're going to do it again so our movie let's delete it delete and our movie is gone and that's it as you can see it's not very hard especially if you already did the creation of the movie so this is pretty easy to do Okay, so this is it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Please follow me on Twitter or on Facebook. Uh, remember that all the code that we used right here is going to be on GitHub. Link will be in the description below. Uh, if you like the video, please like it. If you like the channel, please subscribe to it. And that's it. I will see you in the next episode. Bye.